You know, Elon Musk has been talking about terraforming Mars, growing giant trees, and basically creating an Earth to point zero. But what if we could skip the giant trees and just plant one giant plant? Could one humongous tree or mega plant somehow terraform the entire red planet? Turns out that there's actually some science behind this idea. So go check that out. Now, this is kind of a weird question, but it turns out that there are ways that plants can terraform an environment. Let's start with our own planet. Now, I know this might seem like cheating since we obviously know what real life plants can do on Earth, but stick with me here. Plants on Earth take carbon dioxide out of the air and release oxygen into our atmosphere as a byproduct of photosynthesis. So, if we were to introduce highly efficient plants onto another planet with a different atmosphere, those plants would gradually change the atmosphere over time. For example, the most abundant gas on Mars is carbon dioxide, which is great because plants on Earth use carbon dioxide for photosynthesis. But Mars also has almost no oxygen and a very thin atmosphere. Well, plants on Earth need water to survive, so they couldn't just grow on Mars as is. But if we were to engineer plants that express enzymes capable of surviving in frigid, dry environments like Mars, then these plants could theoretically remove the excess carbon dioxide from the Martian atmosphere and release oxygen while also generating their own source of water. Over billions of years, they could turn Mars from a frozen desert into a temperate oasis. But let's think even bigger. What if we didn't try to engineer regular old plants? What if we tried to engineer a mega plant? Something that combines aspects of all plants on Earth into one super plant. This is where things get weird because it turns out that there's actually a scientific paper proposing exactly this idea. Published in the journal Astrobiology in 2019, to researchers proposed introducing genetically engineered mega plants to Mars that could grow up to one kilometer tall. Now, that sounds like science fiction, but these scientists used math to prove that such plants could be possible. The researchers, Robin Dixon and William Cross, figured out the maximum height that a plant could reach based on its diameter at the base and its mass. They derived an equation that relates a plant's maximum height to its base diameter and mass, which was based on a cylinder formula that approximates how much water is required to transport nutrients to throughout the plant. Plants on Earth don't get any taller than about 130 meters, but on Mars, gravity is only about a third of Earth's gravity, meaning that there's no force pushing down on plants. And because Mars is smaller than Earth, it has weaker gravity overall. That means that a plant on Mars could be thousands of meters tall if it had enough structural support to hold itself up. So, in theory, a mega plant on Mars could be as tall as one kilometer, which is roughly the height of the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. It'd also be about 10 times wider than the building, measuring about 100 meters across at the base. According to the authors, such a mega plant would live long enough to pump out tons of seeds, but it would take 40 million years to grow that big, which is longer than the estimated timeline for human colonization of Mars. But still, we might have time. That's assuming that a mega plant could even survive on Mars. We don't currently have the technology to grow plants this large. Our tallest trees only reach about 130 meters tall. And there are serious engineering challenges associated with designing a structure this large. But the coolest part is that these plants would produce so much biomass that they could make Mars a hospitable planet for humans. According to the authors, a forest of 100 of these plants would generate enough oxygen to sustain a human population of roughly 1 million people. So it's possible that plants could terraform Mars especially if we grew a lot of them. But it's still a long way from happening. Take for example, a study published in 2020 one that looked into the possibility of growing a giant biodome made out of genetically engineered algae on Mars. This dome would rely on photosynthesis to produce its own food supply and maintain the atmosphere inside the dome. According to the authors, it would take 100 years for the biodome to reach full size. And that's just one example. 
There are tons of other obstacles and considerations for growing plants on Mars that this study didn't take into account. It's definitely possible that plants could terraform Mars, but we're nowhere near making that happen anytime soon. But there's one thing that we do know could help plants survive on Mars, water. And lucky for us, NASA thinks that there could be quite a bit of it hiding beneath the surface. In 2019, NASA announced that they discovered strong evidence of water ice near the equator of Mars. In 2021, they followed up that discovery by announcing that they'd found hydrated minerals on Mars. These minerals only form in the presence of water. And in 2022, they confirmed that there was water ice underneath the surface of Mars. What's more, researchers have calculated that there's enough water on Mars to cover the entire planet in a layer of water 10 meters deep. So, water isn't likely to be the thing that limits our ability to grow plants on Mars. Instead, it's probably going to be the temperature. As I mentioned earlier, Mars is much colder than Earth, which is why NASA needs to send rovers with heated components to function. Mars is so cold that even if we brought a regular plant to the surface, it wouldn't last long. But scientists are working on solutions for that too. Researchers at the University of California, Berkeley recently developed a new type of greenhouse that uses fluorescent lights and mirrors to amplify sunlight and heat trapped inside, creating an environment that can easily sustain temperatures between 20 and 40 degrees Celsius if you think that sounds familiar? It's because this same technology was developed to grow plants on the International Space Station. On the ISS, plants can't get enough sunlight to survive. So these greenhouses were created to enable plant growth. And not only can the Berkeley greenhouses sustain in a range of typical Earth temperatures, but they can also recycle water from condensation and waste to water plants. Basically, this is just a more efficient version of the plants that are already growing on the ISS. So far, the researchers have successfully grown zinnias, tomatoes, and strawberries in these greenhouses on the space station. And while there's still a lot of engineering to be done before we bring this technology to Mars, it seems like we're off to a good start. But now, I'm curious, what do you think? Could plants really terraform Mars? And if so, should we? Let me know in the comments below. And speaking of terraforming planets, did you know that you could also terraform your body? Not in the weird sci-fi way, though. I'm talking about resetting your internal systems to their optimal levels so you can feel amazing. To reset your circadian rhythm, which influences sleep, metabolism, and hormone release, there's the chime to smart alarm clock by levels. Not only does it gently wake you up at the optimal time, but it also helps you determine your ideal bedtime. You can also track your blood oxygen saturation with the Level Sleep Coach to sensor. This helps you understand how well your body is absorbing oxygen while you sleep, which affects energy levels during the day. And if you're looking for other ways to boost your health and well-being, then check out the links in the description for more information and thanks to you for watching. As always, this has been your host. Don't forget to keep on thinking.